it's my welcome wake up with determination go to bed with satisfaction it's my honor to welcome our chief guest ms aishwarya jain to tell about discuss about the important topic of content writing we welcome you ma'am on whole behalf of arco aviation private limited the session is over to you yeah thank you for having me uh, am i audible and visible yes ma'am so let me share my screen yeah so is the screen visible guys yes ma'am great great thank you so good evening everyone and thank you aiba for having me and for inviting me over it's a pleasure guys so the today's uh, webinar is all about content writing 101 one which in which we'll be covering the basics so without wasting uh, a minute let's uh, jump right in so who am i uh, uh, my name is ashwarya jain i have completed my masters in uh, finance specialization and i am working as a content developer with an it company i am active on linkedin so you can connect me uh, with, uh, connect with me on linkedin as well yeah so what are we going to learn today the today's agenda is to help you guys get acquainted with what exactly content writing is what the buzz is all around and how it can help you grow in future right if you are someone who is aspiring for uh, digital marketing or if you want to learn digital marketing how content is the foundation of everything that is there in the digital world today so the key discussion points we will be starting from scratch like what is content content writing content marketing just a second so the people are coming yeah so a uh, definition of content marketing benefits classic examples there are some myths that are there in the mind of writers or uh, like aspiring writers so we will be shedding them today the mistakes Uh, that you don't have to make after reading these mistakes now the biggest question is how to become a content writer and there will be some bonus at the end and there will be a q and a session right so what exactly is content is it an alien term or is it a rocket science what exactly it is we here we heard a lot about content in today's life in fact in the pandemic the content uh, creation as well as consumption has increased many fold so what exactly it is before looking at the official definition given by word factory i would like to give you a simple example so the moment you wake up in the morning and look at your cell phone so the text message that you receive the songs that you listen to in loop the series that you binge watch on netflix or prime the blogs that you love uh, like reading to all these are content pieces all these are the types of content right so the content is the presentation which has a purpose has audience a channel and a form so you can check these five highlighted words so what exactly it is so, so the information so the role of content is to give you a core message or a main idea let's take this webinar is an example so what is this this is a type of content right it is an educational piece where the main idea is to educate you guys right the next point that you can see so the purpose is to educate what comes under entertainment the memes that you see on your instagram feed right so that comes under the entertainment part or the youtube videos that you see for hours that comes under entertainment to inform so the what brands do on social media or the news that we see on our television the purpose of that content piece is to inform us like what exactly is going like farmers bill for example for example so the content the news channels provide is the purpose is to inform us persuade the ads that we see on either social media or on our television sets the purpose is to persuade us to convince us to take an action right the uh, the audience the target audience right now you guys are my audience right so for brands it could be their potential customers or clients if it is a product tangible product 
it would be customer and if it's a service it would be client channel how are you approaching your target audience so it could be either online or offline but primarily we'll be dealing with online channels so the so the webinar for this webinar the channel is online and the form in which i am approaching to you guys is through the webinar so that would be the form so now you got the idea that what exactly content is through the webinar so i'll explain it again this webinar the main idea is to educate my audience that is you and through an online channel right and the form is through a webinar now we'll be discussing a lot of forms in the next slide so as i said content is everywhere now stepping taking a step ahead from your personal life how brands are leveraging the power of content so the social media and the websites everything is brimming with content can you imagine any social media channel or google or any website without content no right it would be hollow it would be empty so content is everywhere it is omnipresent that's why i have called it ocean in the very first slide if you have noticed right so what companies are doing they are creating blog pieces they are creating articles white papers ebooks there are end number of content pieces that companies are creating we'll be uh, we'll see in the later part of the webinar that why they are doing this and what is the need of content is it even relevant in today's world or if it is relevant how much it is relevant right so this hows and why and what's we'll be dealing with in the webinar so right so you the captions that you see on social media the presentation that i am giving right now the videos uh, on youtube the podcasts the e courses that you enroll into the white papers the long papers that provide solution to a problem so the blogs and articles that i have already explained even the memes all these are part and parcel of content right so the you can imagine the depth of content right so content is king this line is used you know like overly used i could say content is king content is everywhere why because it is not limited only to text it is it has videos it has audio the songs the podcast the ebooks that you listen to the visual the graphics the infographics the images that provide value anything and everything that provide value it is a part of content so content is king and will always remain a king now content marketing so the role doesn't confine just to writing you can uh, read the definition meanwhile so the role doesn't uh, confine only to writing brands are using content for a specific purpose and that comes under content marketing what they are doing they are creating content pieces they are floating it to engage with their audience to nurture their audience to provide value to their audience so as you can see the definition is a bit hard so i'll explain it in a simple words to connect with the target audience brands need content so the tech savvy people around us or in our webinar right now they'll be reading a lot of tech blogs the people that are into beauty into health they'll be reading that kind of blogs or they'll be following those influencers so what those guys are doing they are creating engaging pieces in the form of webinar in the form of small videos the how to tutorials diy videos everything right so what they are doing they are creating content pieces to connect with you guys so they are providing you some kind of value and they are you know nurturing you in some way or the other it could be even a, an email the email that you receive so of course it's a long term strategy it's not a short term game like i'll shoot you i'll shoot an email and you'll read it and you'll convert it you'll convert into my client no it's not like that why because we don't have uh, you know that patience right now we don't we have zero tolerance to the ads that we see even we switch the channel when we come across ads advertisements so let alone tolerating it on social media so for brands it would be uh, you know it would be very difficult to get our attention we are not using social media to see ads we are using social media to connect with our friends family 
you know for fun we are using social media so to attract our attention it is very difficult for brands so they are using content marketing to connect with us for example um okay so you don't know me right and if you see an ad on social media where i am promoting some course at xyz rupees so will you be interested in buying that course no because we don't have any kind of connect right you don't know me who is ashwarya jain she is no one but if i would have you know if i would have created that uh, image in front of you guys if i would have organized some webinar sessions or if i could have shared some tricks and tricks where the or the aspiring uh, content writers or the people who are interested in writing if they would have seen it definitely they will be interested in the course right so that is the power of content marketing where you are not just outrightly serving your product and outrightly selling your product uh, in front of your audience rather than you are providing them some kind of value first okay ask yourself like how many times you have clicked on ads and how many times you have clicked on something wherein you could find some value so the answer you will you will be in a better position to answer this that why content marketing is relevant in today's world okay so the benefits i have already explained it all starts with trust the more trust i'll be able to build the more confidence you guys will be having right you will you will be you will be in a better position to judge whether should i go for this person or not similarly brands are doing that we'll see in the classic examples how different brands are doing what and how they are leveraging content but of course uh, brand awareness if i'll be i'll be creating some social media profile and i'll post something about content so that will be uh, that will enlighten my audience my target audience they'll connect with me for more content they'll crave more content and if in case i want to offer something which is paid they will definitely go for it they'll sign up for the sessions i i can shoot them emails to email marketing sessions right so everything starts with content again if i if i have a website i can link my website and they'll visit so it all it all starts with content more leads more sales more profits but it is a it takes time and it is a long term strategy but it is really worth it so now let's look at some of the cl uh, classic examples uh, amul swiggy netflix canva zomato so i would request you all to follow these handles on different social media platforms and observe their content from today onwards and you will be in a better position to decide why i have chosen these brands so out of these let's focus on zomato so zomato doesn't have its own product right it's just a food delivery app and it's pro it provides service it is basically a mediator between people like us who wants to order food and the restaurants or hotels but it is nailing content marketing and how it is doing it let's check some examples so a few days ago i have come across this beautiful biryani cv created by zomato you know it was so impressive how how brilliantly they have woven those words it is really mind blowing so this is something you know even if biryani was not on your mind but after reading the cv and how creatively they have used it it would force you to you know at least discuss it with your friends just like what i did it with you know i did with this image with you guys right i shared it so what zomato is doing it is engaging with its audience right let, let, let's see so the pizza has uh, sent me a love letter so the pizza has sent me a love letter so how, how beautifully who says email marketing is dead if zomato hadn't uh, done it i would have just uh, either spam it or i would have just outrightly delete that email no one has time to read the email right but still a lot of brands are uh, leveraging a lot from email marketing one of the best examples is zomato how beautifully it has returned you know so even if we are not craving for pizza after see, uh, reading this we'll definitely crave for a pizza next this this image 
so a lot of memes were created around it so again as i have uh, explained initially that meme is also a part of content and it, you know it it entertains us we like memes we like to share memes so it's a win win situation for brands so a lot of content was created around sonu now baba ka dhaba was also a great uh, uh, you know content piece for zomato it even initiated and partnered with zomato how, how much reality is there in that that i am not aware of but immediately after you know th that went uh, uh, you know that trended on twitter everyone was talking about this and zomato leveraged it again on valentines day it created this post it which is visually appealing so content is just not limited to that simple plain vanilla text it is also into uh, Im uh, amazing graphics so let's diwali why burn anything at all and order from zomato uh, for the netizens and the netflix lovers it created a beautiful from like game of uh, game of thrones instead of game of thrones and how i met your mother so it's really beautiful to see such graphics and they are they are not just creating just for the sake of creating okay they are getting huge engagement on these posts i would request you to follow zomato at least on twitter so what zomato is doing it is not just it knows what it target audience wants like we like to read emotional content like baba ka dhaba we like to read quirky content we like to see or check out memes so it is using all of these elements in its content and the best part is it doesn't even have to i mean it's just a food delivery app it doesn't have a product on its own still it is leveraging content so if you have a product or if you have a service that you provide you can imagine how powerful content is right these are some of the trending examples which is which is really intriguing and the again another point about zomato it is it is it is into trend jacking and moment marketing so what exactly are these terms it is basically you know living in the moment so if something goes viral so it is leveraging that part and creating content out of it so which is you know we people love it even uh, if two people fight on twitter zomato is creating content out of it right so this is something which brands are using now one of the points that you have to keep in mind not every brand can do that mncs like deloitte kpmg even my company uh, you know it cannot write on these parts just because everyone is writing it is not like this suits on me or my company as well so a lot of things are there a lot of things a lot of strategization and planning part is there to float the right kind of content it worked for zomato but it is not necessary that it will work for every brand so be mindful whenever you are creating content right now as we have seen what what is content what is content writing it is just the starting point how brands are using it how different brands are using it so there it is important for us to shed some myths that are there in our mind so good writers are born not made it is a fallacy it is not true at all everyone can be a writer you just have to practice a lot and you just have to maintain that consistency and you will be a writer for sure you will be a good writer you have to have an uh, impressive vocabulary and a degree no it's not true it it depends on your target audience for example the session uh, the title is content writing 101 which is the basics the foundation right the the simplest explanation of something is 101 so if i would have used jargons that uh, you know 10 plus years of digital marketers are using would it make any sense no so rather than using or throwing beautiful words use the words that you know the words that your target audience can understand in a beautiful way right so i hope i am making sense and you can relate with it i am not good at writing every person who is just getting started uh, with writing has this myth on his or her mind that he or she is not good with writing but that's not true 
you you will be your biggest critic i would say even i don't like whatever i write it has been 2 years or so and still i don't i actually hate what i write but my manager loves it so this is something you know you have to deal with because that's a myth and you have to shade it i am also trying to shade it and i would request you to shade this myth right so it all starts with practice and there is a long way to go now there are some common mistakes that people make while starting while getting started with writing so if you are writing for someone if that person is your client please ask that who the target audience is whether it is for american market or the british people majorly it is for americans but still because a lot of variations are there in the spellings as you can see labor labor organization and organization so try to follow and stick to just one style do not mix and match both otherwise it would be a blunder poorly written content so i think you have noticed what i did there please check your content again and again do not make mistakes like this because we all we all are a pro in finding someone else's mistake oh that person has you know made a mistake in that let's just let's just scrap it let's just go back let's just close it we don't have patience for mistakes especially when it is someone else's mistakes so please make sure that whatever you are writing you are giving you know justice to it using modern lingo and short forms in formal writing if you are writing a blog or an article do not use short forms like eg in case of example or imp dot in case of important no please write the full word it is not extinct publishing plagiarized content which is copied content do not copy paste someone else's work apart from legal issues and legal hassles and a lot of penalties imposed by google you will not be able to grow at all research is something different and plagiarism is different so never ever copy someone else's work and if you are copying someone someone's work or even a small fact please give sources that from where you have used that particular fact or an image i have used sources in all my slides right because i have not created the definition right so give, next is giving less time to editing and proofreading this is a common fallacy again that a lot of us or a lot of aspire, aspiring writers have is okay my work is done i have written 1000 words and that's all no it's not done okay the thing or the point starts the main point i would say would start the moment you end up writing so editing and do not forgive yourself for your mistakes right edit mercilessly just because you have written it do not allow that crappy piece or shitty piece or shitty piece of content in, uh, to float in front of your audience take your time edit it place yourself in the shoes of your readers and question so what why why i am writing this would you read next point after reading first point if the answer is no then please rework on it again so when it comes to editing i would repeat again do not forgive yourself and edit mercilessly and just give justice to it right just edit it and remove the fluff just because you have written i'm repeating it again just because you have written it do not allow that piece to float in the in your in front of your social uh in front of your audience right edit it now the biggest question how to become a content writer is there any secret sauce what should i do to become a content writer can i become a writer overnight 10 tips and tricks to become a content writer should i attend a course should i attend some random webinars how should i go about it so a lot of questions like these uh we have come across the question like the, uh, across the questions like these a lot but the reality is there is no secret sauce so i'm really sorry to burst the bubble but there is no secret sauce to become a content writer of course after joining a course or attending a webinar or reading an ebook or reading multiple blogs you will be in a position to decide okay this is the framework that i have to follow okay this is something that these points are there that i have to keep in my mind keep on my mind while creating a headline but no one help you to become a writer you have to do it on your own you have to practice it 
so the secret lies with you how you want to become a writer so it all starts with research the more you research the more you will get enlightened about the topic the more you write the more you write you have to embrace the ugly first draft there is no alternative to it and you have to edit 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 i have repeated all the words three times why because it is really important so you have to gather the content right you have to embrace that ugly draft your first copy would not be a perfect one so please do not ex expect your first copy to be a perfect and a flawless one okay and again you have to refine and enhance it so editing and proofreading are really very important it is like it is basically like dancing so if you like salsa for example so you cannot learn salsa if someone else is performing and you are just observing you what you can learn you could learn the moves okay i can do that but until and unless you jump on the floor you get on the floor you will not be able to learn that right so similarly same applies with writing as well the more you write the more you will be in in a uh, in a position to fine tune it right and you will get the grab you will get you will get a better better understanding on what's working what's not working and where you have to improve now, now again one of the things that even i hear a lot from people uh, that content is not is it's everyone's cup of tea everyone can write content so next time whenever you come across uh, you can take the screenshot of this slide if you want so whenever uh, next time if you come across someone who is commenting that please tell them that instead of that book there could be any form of content a lot of things are there to create a great piece of content it's not just that i have referred one website i just reframed it reworded it and i i am just giving it to the audience the audience is really smart consider uh, you know if you have attended a similar session uh, webinar and if you th if you think that i have copied all the things from that webinar so you you will be you will quick, quickly judge okay that person is just copied has copied entire thing from that webinar similarly people are smart so if you will just blatantly copy from someone else's work and just reword it it won't work that way so content writing is not just writing words or just sprinkling words here and there a lot of things are there you can see the depth right the piece is just the iceberg a lot of things are there from researching to writing rewriting a lot of edits are there that are involved in the process so you can see how how crucial it is for a writer to go through all these steps or a content developer to go th all through all these steps to create a good piece of content which is worth sharing now what you need to do so you need to understand your target audience first step a lot of people uh, tend to miss the, that step is we we think that uh, everyone's requirement is same so for example if you are writing a blog that is meant for people that are above 60 years and you are using modern language or the slangs that uh, the millennials use will it work no it won't work or if you are writing something that is gender specific and it is targeted for males and if you are using the words that generally are overused by females or in that gender group so it won't make any sense so always understand your target audience i haven't used any heavy word in the entire slide i have kept it as simple as possible because i know who my target audience is right maintain your originality and style everyone has a unique style and you'll get a hold on that style once you'll start writing so the more you will write the more you the you'll be in a better position to understand your own writing style write catchy and compelling headlines i'll give you two headlines here first is alia bhat is dating ranbir kapoor and second is uh, bollywood's bombshell alia is dating someone and in bracket ps it's not rk of course the second one has more impact it is more suspense it is more i catchy so the more uh, compelling your headlines are the more people will click on it if it if it's uh, boring if it's too too heavy it's too it's again it's hev like heavily boring so i'll i'll not click on it we don't have the patience so it should be very compelling 
now you have to create the content that is snackable and digestible a lot of people among us are scanners we just skim through content so the content should be snackable enough do not write big boring chunks of paragraphs instead divide them into pieces where with small paragraphs and shorter sentences do not make it too bulgy and remove all the fluff use facts and statistics with sources so which which sentence is making more sense like lakhs of people have died uh, during corona um, in the pandemic or around 10 lakh people died during the pandemic so you can see the difference the figure 10 lakh is making a difference here which is giving an authority to the blog owner and people will take it more seriously rather than just random like lakhs of people have died no 10 lakh so the more specific it is the more impact it will make on the minds of readers use powerful visuals and graphics everyone likes graphics when no one likes plain vanilla text while reading so make your uh, blog or uh, the content piece as visually appealing as possible but do not overdo it and the last one put a call to action button at the end like what actions do you want your reader to take after reading that content piece so you want them to subscribe to your newsletter or you want them to follow on your different social media platforms handles or uh, if you are selling something and you want to redirect them to the that particular page so what action do you want your audience to take after reading that content piece right so that is call to action so do that now all of these steps should comprise around 20 to 40% of your time and efforts share your content on social media platforms as much as possible and it should comprise your 80 to 60 if it is 20 then 80 and if it is 40 then it should be 60% of your time why why because there are a lot of players in the market whatever thing that you are offering to them you have already n number of uh, competitors so people will not come to you that you have written something let me read no you have to go to to the people and you have to tell them i have written this please read it and that is something that i want to take uh, uh, that i want you to take action at the end which is our cta button so now the three most important elements so you have to begin with a killer headline or a killer heading and an introduction part uh, i have attended a lot of sessions on content writing and the one thing that i understood is whatever you are planning to elaborate in your content just give a synopsis and a summary of that particular blog in the introduction so people will get to know that okay this is something that i'll be reading along with the headline i'll be reading in the blog so please write an introductory paragraph at the beginning next is frame subheadings with bullet points and then elaborate those points so most of us are scanners and schemers we don't read word to word we just skim so uh, please make sure that you are writing bullet points so if you are writing 10 trends for example technology trends so rather than just writing 10 paragraphs give those 10 paragraphs a bullet point so if i want to go to the second point if i like that second point i'll directly go to it i'll di directly jump on that two point rather than just you know scrolling it and just uh, like switching the window uh, please make sure that you are uh, giving bullet points next is conclude with a powerful cta what actions do you want your audience to take so always include that cta because it will create a relationship with your audience they'll come for more they'll crave for more content and that will build trust so please make sure that you are writing a good cta at the end so now we are coming to the end so one pro tip that i want to give you guys is follow your favorite content writer bloggers influencers on social media to observe their writing style how they are writing what topics are they covering and how you can give that your uh, you know your creativity and how you can create your content piece uh from observing other people so do not copy but observe them it will help you now the free platforms that are there on so uh, that are there that you can use to get started with uh, with writing content first is quora answers so if you don't want to write a uh, 
200, 300, 500 uh, length blog or an article piece, you can write Quora answers. So a lot of communities are there on Quora and there are a lot of segments. So you can choose the segment of your choice. You can join uh, those uh, community, those communities and you can answer your, uh, answer, your uh, answer to those questions. Next is Medium. So Medium is a free platform where you could publish your blogs. LinkedIn, it could be Pearls, simple posts or LinkedIn slide share if you like if you like visually appealing or if you are into PPT. So use that slide share part. It is really great. Next is you could approach people who accept guest posts. So that is also free. And la the last one is the WordPress.com. Uh, you could also create your own website with WordPress.com and you can publish your blogs there. These are some of the people's or uh, uh, magazines like Forbes, Entrepreneur, and celebrities like Julia McCoy, Anne Hanley, Neil Patel, blogs of Copy Blogger, Reliable Softwares, SEO. They create great content pieces which you can follow uh, either on Twitter or on LinkedIn, and you can also read their blogs. They are very insightful. So, yeah, that's pretty much it from my end. And I am up for questions and answers if there are any. Ma'am, can you give me some example for article writing? Uh, sorry? Article writing. Okay. So, you know, just, just a sec. For articles, I would suggest you to uh, you, uh, go through Entrepreneur. It creates wonderful uh, articles because the difference between articles and blogs, the line, the thin line of difference, it is basically breaching. I mean, a lot of people confuse between blogs and articles, right? So the where you are giving your own opinion in something that comes under blog and article is something where, you know, you are just stating what the situation is. So in entrepreneur, a lot of people explain what exactly is going through in the industry. So I would request you to go through here uh, to, to the entrepreneur and to and read their blogs. So it would thank be really great. Thank you. So are there any questions? <laughs>